How you doing, guys? Uh, we're going to be doing a beer review. Actually, I'm going to be doing a couple of them tonight. Um, we have something that just arrived in the NSLC. Um, this is a beer that is now apparently showing up both in uh, Western and Eastern Canada, uh, being distributed. Uh, I don't know if it's totally countrywide or not, but it is got a, a larger distribution now. And as I said, just showed up in the NSLC this week. This is... Barking Squirrel Lager, okay, from Hop City Brewing, and uh, they are out of Brampton, Ontario, and I guess they're also brewed in St. John. They're they're owned by Moosehead. They're they're an independently uh, they're an independent craft brewery, brewery subsidiary of um, Moosehead Brewing. So I guess it's sort of like a hands off process. At least that's the official sort of spiel. Apparently this is not an adjunct lager at all. Apparently it's all um, all pure malt and hops. And it says, uh, Welcome to Hop City, where we brew beer with equal parts flavor, complexity, and sessionability. Bark and Squirrel Lager is a 24 IBU amber lager. So basically amber lager, red lager. Um, brewed of a blend of Halitau, uh, middle Fru and Saz Hops, perfectly balanced by Canadian Pale, Two Roll, Crystal, and Munich Malts. Mmm. It says mmm on there. 5% alcohol by volume. So we'll get right into it. Definitely amber in color. Malt is bready and grassy. Grassy sweetness right there up front. Definitely getting some um, slightly earthy uh, hop notes there. It's definitely hoppier than your uh, usual... Uh, everyday macro lager now the goal with this company was to make a uh, craft lager that's flavorful but quite sessionable it smells very good so we'll go right to the taste I've got this at about room temperature. Very easy to drink. Carbonation is very soft. Um, malty up front. It's got approaching a medium mouth feel. It's definitely a bit thicker uh, than your usual lagers. Sort of a slightly toasty malt, more just grassy breadiness. Um, definitely a bigger hop bite than you usually get in your run-of-the-mill lagers. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It tastes like a drier, more malty version of, um, Alpine. So it makes me wonder how much, um how hands-off Moosehead actually are with these because it it actually does taste like noticeably like a Moosehead product to me um, that's just me and maybe other people have a different opinion but um, yeah it tastes like a like a really a lot better version of Alpine to me that doesn't make it a great mind-blowing beer or anything uh, but it's it definitely sits like on the upper tier of your like um, sessionable, higher quality, like macro semi craft loggers, and your uh, lighter, um, more logger like ales. So it, it's like somewhere above, like your your Olins and your um, Moosehead Pale Ales and um, 
Just any sort of like uh, okay craft loggers, maybe like Rickard's Blonde or uh, something along those lines. It, it's definitely a few steps up from that. Maybe a little bit less impressive than um, Mill Street Stock Ale or uh, some of uh, the loggers out of um, uh, the Cadian Cream Ale and the uh, premium lager out of. Uh, Pump house is it's it's floating somewhere in between there. It's it's actually pretty good. Hmm. You know I'm gonna go um three out of five. I think I think I can actually definitely say three out of five. Uh, it's very drinkable, very sessionable, um, and it actually does taste pretty good. I'm not getting any off flavors at all. Um, it tastes like something I could. Uh, drink all night without getting tired of it. Uh, so, Barking Squirrel Lager from Hop City Brewing. Moosehead was good to uh, pick this up and distribute it. Um, they've got a winner here. Or did they pick it up? Did they start the buy the brewery right offhand? I can't recall the actual story, but uh, either way. This is a good one to have in the Moosehead family. This is actually way better than most of the stuff they've been making lately or distributing. So, even a couple of the uh, Sam Adams um, seasonals that they've been distributing are uh, of lesser quality than this. I'd say I'd actually drink this before the Sam Adams uh, uh, spring lager summer ale, or is that the other way around? Is it the spring ale and the summer lager? I get them confused. But yeah, I picked this up before I picked that shit up. And those are actually good beers too, so. Barking Squirrel, 3 out of 5. If you see it, uh, I recommend you pick it up, actually. It's actually not bad. And at least you're supporting a local uh, local brewery. Canadian-owned brewery. See you guys later.